Okay, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining this design community meeting. Um, it's 105, so um, hopefully everyone who plans to join is here. Again, I've, I've, at, I've mentioned this a few times, but um, now that we're starting, please unmute yourself if you can. If you have questions, feel free to unmute, but we try to ask everyone to stay muted during the presentation to avoid echoes and disturbances during the meeting. Um, there's a chat box so that you can answer um, ask questions in the chat box and Mark, I'm going to ask you to monitor the chat box for me. I'm not going to be able to do that, but if you could please monitor the chat box and let me know of any questions in there and we can talk about those at the end of the meeting. And then also <clears throat> this meeting will be recorded. We're going to record it today and then um, uh, we're going to have someone upload it to our project website on Monday. And I believe sometimes we get requests to have the meeting specifically emailed out, which is fine. Um, we have a person who will be do, who can do that next week too. So we're gonna get started now. So this is the design community meeting for the Trinity Boulevard and Euless South Main Street intersection improvement project. This is city project number 103311. The city project manager is Seth Cooksey. Unfortunately, Seth couldn't attend today, but um, instead I'm here to give the presentation. My name is Chad Allen. I'm the engineering manager for the mobility team at the city of Fort Worth. Also on the phone, we have our project engineer, Mark Bacard from Graham Associates. So he's here to help me with any of the tough questions that get answered during the presentation. And then we have a couple of folks from the city in my, in my group here. We have Fanta Caba, who um, always is helpful to me, and Sagar Metasetti from our transportation management department. And He's our traffic signal expert. So if we have any questions about traffic ignal, inter, um, traffic signals, he can help us. And then we also have um, Joshua from um, the council district five council members office here. So Joshua, before we get, begin, Joshua Rivers, would you like to say anything to the folks who are attending the meeting? Yes, thank you. Um, I just wanna say, first off, thank you all for coming out to get some more information, some much needed information about this project uh genuinely whether you're watching it now live uh with us on the webex or you're watching <laughs> recording we genuinely appreciate you feel free to share the uh recordings whenever you get them uh this is your opportunity to ask questions if you are live with us this is your opportunity to ask questions there's going to be a lot of topics covered so uh if you do have that you want to know more about these are the people to ask so i do encourage you to uh, get friends families anybody that might be uh close to this project get them on so they may uh have an opportunity as well so um thank you again for coming uh council uh, councilwoman mayor pro tem gina bivens does thank you as well so we really do appreciate your time and i'll turn it back over to chad thank you joshua i appreciate it So this is the agenda for the presentation today. We're gonna to talk about the project location. We'll discuss the need for the project. We'll talk about the design phase process. Um, we have performed a traffic study. So we'll go over the conclusions and recommendations from the traffic study. We'll show our preliminary design plans and talk about all legs of the intersection and what we're proposing out there. And then we'll review the project schedule and cost and provide contact information for the design team. This is the project location um, over here to the left. Sorry, this map is kind of small, but I wanted to show relatively where the project is um, in relation to downtown Fort Worth. So the project is located where this red symbol is. It is east and north of downtown Fort Worth. It's sort of at the southwest corner of the intersection of 183 and Highway 360. And then over here on the right is a zoomed in um, image showing the intersection of Euless South Main Street and Trinity Boulevard. And this is the intersection we'll be working in. Um, we, we, there, this project is needed to improve traffic flow at the intersection during peak hours and reduce delays and improve the overall safety for all the users of the intersection. Um, it's also needed to improve pedestrian safety at the intersection by installing pedestrian signals with push buttons and also um, new curb ramps that are ADA compliant. And then also this project was voted on and listed in the 2022 bond book. It's part of the 2022 bond program. It was officially approved. This intersection is specifically listed in the 2022 bond book. 
Um, we're going to talk about, we are in the design phase of the project. Um, this is our typical design phase process. We have a 30, 60, 90% um, design process. Our 30% design usually consists of performing the traffic study, which we've done. Also during 30%, we identify utilities that need to be relocated and right of way that needs to be required. Next, we do 60% design. Um, during the 60% design process, we do community outreach. So that's what we're doing now. We also do a constructability walkthrough where we take our entire design team and then we have experts at the city and traffic signals and storm drainage and paving construction and, and construction inspection. And we all go out in the field and we take the plans and we do our constructability walk. And that's to make sure that what is shown on the plans is actually feasible to be built. Um, so, and then at 90%, we're basically, we've resolved all the issues and we're just basically creating our final construction plans. We're between 60 and 90% design of the project right now. And that's why we're doing this community outreach. We have conducted the traffic study during the 30% design. The purpose of the traffic study was to evaluate improvements to increase capacity or improve mobility and improve operation out at this intersection. The existing conditions are out there that Eula South Main Street is an existing roadway. It has 93 foot of right of way. It's a two lane asphalt road with bar ditches. Um, Trinity Boulevard has 120 foot of right of way and it's a six lane concrete roadway and it has an underground storm sewer system. Here are the conclusions and recommendations from the traffic study. Um, we concluded that the existing intersection does require improvements to accommodate large trucks, cars and pedestrians. It's recommended that we do traffic signal upgrades and modifications. Um, and place them where they won't be hit by trucks right now. Some of the signals are in the median, so we'll remove those. And then also the traffic signals are old and they need to be upgraded to our current technology. They also have to be modified to accommodate the new lanes we're gonna build out there. We want to do pedestrian, um, pedestrian improvements for safety. So we're gonna be adding pedestrian signals and sidewalks and crosswalks. We're gonna construct dedicated left turn lanes in Eula South Main. So right now, Eula South Main does not have left turn lanes. We're building left turn lanes at the intersection um, on the north and south side of the intersection in Eula South Main so that large trucks and other vehicles can make that left turn without causing backups behind them. In Trinity Boulevard, we're gonna relocate the left turn lanes to improve safety and make those movements more safe. Right now, the left turn lanes are positioned in a way that sight distance is tough to, um, you have to sort of look past the left turn lane on the other side of the intersection to make that left turn. And we're gonna remove that need and we're gonna improve the safety out there for those left turning movements. And then finally, we're gonna add guardrails, or excuse me, we're gonna remove those guardrails out there and add a safer barrier um, between the existing drainage ditches and the roadway. So this image shows the preliminary design. This is sort of the overall plan for the project. And I'm gonna discuss what we're doing at each leg of the intersection. Um, so this is the left leg of the intersection um, on the west side of the intersection. This is in Trinity Boulevard. This key map over here kind of shows with this blue box what part of the intersection we're looking at. This is the eastbound Trinity Boulevard um, left turn offset. So right now on the left side of the intersection, there is a left turn lane, but we're gonna move it further up towards the center line of the roadway. We're gonna push it into that median. On the other side of the intersection, we're gonna move that left turn lane down. So now they won't be um, looking, at, looking across each other when you try to make that left turn. Instead, um, you'll have better sight distance, uh, a better view, also, that turning movement will be shorter for each of those movements. So that's what we're doing in Trinity Boulevard. We're improving the safety of those left turn lanes. We're also making them a bit longer. <clears throat> this is the south side of the intersection. I mean, excuse me, the north side of the intersection. You can see on the key map where this blue rectangle is. We're widening Euless Main, South Main Street and we're adding a left turn lane that doesn't exist. We're also, there's an existing driveway right here on the northeast side. We're gonna close that and we're currently coordinating with the property owner. And then just opposite of that, on the south 
side of the intersection. Again, we're widening Eula South Main. We're installing this left turn lane that doesn't exist. We're also, I forgot to mention, we're um, increasing the radius of these turning movements so that larger vehicles can make these turns better. We're making these radi radii larger. Um, again, I, I mentioned earlier, we're also improving the traffic signals out there and we're redoing all of the um, crosswalk striping and the, and the um, stop bar striping. We're redoing all the striping in the intersection. Um, this is the project schedule and cost. We're currently in the design phase between 60 and 90 percent. Um, we're coordinating with existing utilities to get those relocated. We expect to execute the construction pro um, contract next summer, in summer of 2024. And then four or five months after that in the fall, we'll be able to start construction of the project. So um, about this time next year, we'll be starting construction. Um, we expect construction to take about 10 months and the construction cost is approximately $2 million. Here's our contact information for the design team. Mark McCard is on the phone. Mark is our design engineer. He's on the call today. If you have any questions, we're about to open it up for questions. Um, he's with Graham Associates. His telephone number is 817-640-8535. His email address is mburkard at gramcivil.com. That's M-B-U-R-C-K-H-A-R-D. Then the at symbol and G-R-A-H-A-M-C-I-V-I-L dot com. The City of Fort Worth project manager is Seth Cooksey. His telephone number is 469-236-3764. His email address is seth.cooksey at fortworthtexas.gov. That's S-E-T-H dot C-O-O-K-S-E-Y, then the at symbol, and fortworthtexas.gov. Fort Worth, Texas is all one word, F-O-R-T-W-O-R-T-H-T-E-X-A-S dot G-O-V. Um, please feel free to contact these two individuals at any time or me. Um, we'll be happy to tell you about the status of the project or answer any questions you have. Um, these two folks are the experts um, regarding the work. Please reach out to Seth Cooksey first, and then he'll coordinate with Mark, but you can contact either one. And then um, at all of our community meetings, we like to direct folks towards the My Fort Worth app. Um, if you haven't downloaded this app, it's a great tool to request services from the city of Fort Worth. Um, the most common examples we hear at the city are if you have a pothole in your roadway, you can um, put a request in to the Fort, My Fort Worth app, and those folks will come out and fix that pothole very quickly. Um, also, street lights is another example. If you have a purple street light in your neighborhood or a street light that's out, um, put a request in on the My Fort Worth app. And the good thing about the app is these requests go directly to the folks at the city who are responsible for doing that work. So um, the app um, sends those requests directly to those folks, and then um, their their leadership tells them they have a certain amount of time to get out there. So from everything I've heard, we have a really good response time. Um, regarding requests for service that are submitted on the app. You can also reach out to the city of Fort Worth by texting HELLO, H-E-L-L-O, to 817-835-MYFW or 6939. You can also call the city call center at 817-392-1234. And then I believe there is also a chat box on the city of Fort Worth's Worth website where you can reach out for help. And then I would just wanted to direct you to these two QR codes that are on this slide. Um, I, I, I tried these before the meeting. As far as I know, they work. You can take your cell phone and point your camera at one of these QR codes, and it'll take you directly to the link to download the My Fort Worth app from either the Apple Store or the Google Store. So that concludes my presentations, and now we can open it up for questions. Mark, I hope you are following the chat box. I'm not sure if we have any um, questions in the chat box, but if we do, can we start at the top and try to answer them? <coughs> Mark, are you there? Yeah, I, I didn't see any actually pop up. Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Does anyone on the call, and thank you all for participating today, does anyone on the call have any questions? Let me go back to sort of the plans and we can see if there's any questions about the proposed improvements or the schedule. 
Chad, this is Dave. I have a, a couple questions, actually. Uh, 37, if you'll let me. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do 37 <laughs> questions. Just, just a couple. Um, number, number one, was there given, was there any thought given to actually expanding, uh, the Euless main out all the way down to the Callaway cemetery road? Uh, or is that, I, I would imagine this is going to help quite a bit, but, uh, just wondering if that was any part of any of the consideration to help alleviate some of the congestion. Um, I'm sure that has been considered as part of this project. We were just um, directed with the bond program and as part of our scope and the budget we have just to focus on the improvements of this intersection. Um, so we, we, with our traffic study, we haven't looked out outside of just the limits of this intersection. Cigar, are you aware of any other studies in the area to, you know, further widen um, um, Trinity Boulevard, like Steve said? Is it Steve? I'm sorry, I can't see. Dave, 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 and I'm talking Dave about uh, Euless, Main. Euless, Euless Main, Main, especially south of Trinity all the way down. I'm not aware of uh, any uh, proposed improvements on Euless South Main at this time. Okay, that's fair. I just just curious is because uh, the the second question kind of leads off of why I'm asking that because there was apparently quite a bit of work done at the uh, the railroad crossing at Callaway Cemetery Road where the trucks that used to not go towards Euless Main now all exclusively have to go to Euless Main, which is probably a good reason why this is, is happening because it's it's turned our intersection here into a bit of a craziness. And it's curious if those trucks are still going to be directed to go towards Euless Main or if they're going to be directed out towards the uh, west, which would be towards uh, 157. <clears throat> I know it's hard, it's hard to conceptualize the question probably a little bit without any visuals, but uh, that it's since that work has been done at Callaway Cemetery Road, uh, we've noticed that pretty much every truck in the DFW Metroplex uses that particular intersection. Good that's a joke. It's a little exaggeration, but. C Cigar, are you, uh, do you know about all of that? And if we consider all of that, Mark, also, Mark, while you're, while you're here, um, I'm not able to take notes, so. Would you please make note of these questions and comments that we received during the meeting so that if we don't have good answers now that we can get back with these folks and provide answers later and make sure Dave, um, it would be great if you could put your contact information into the chat box and we can grab it and we can try to respond to you later. If, if we can't respond to you today, cigar, are you familiar with that situation? He was talking about. So, um, Callaway Cemetery Road is a east west roadway that uh, that uh, runs parallel to Trinity Boulevard, located south of uh, south of this intersection. Uh, so, uh, uh, Dave, um, sir, are you are you asking if that that the, the traffic is going to be diverted to the truck traffic is going to be diverted to Callaway Cemetery instead of this intersection? Is that is that what you were asking, sir? No. So, in in. Please, I don't want to dominate the meeting, so I can I can follow up with this through communication and email. But the, essentially, what used to happen were the trucks that were all using Callaway Cemetery Road were forced to go west towards 157 to okay. to exit out because there's a concrete plant back there. There's you know there's several uh, several things that require large trucks, and there was some work done at the railroad crossing there that forced those trucks to now go east and use Euless Main as their exit point. And I'm wondering if that's going to continue to be the continue to be the traffic flow or if we're going to go back to the way it used to be probably about a year ago to where those trucks had to or they were supposed to go out towards 157. Um yeah I I, I can find out more about that uh, um about that I, I do not Okay, know. great. Yeah. I didn't know you know, I didn't know since we did Viridian, our company did Viridian, a development there that's to the south of the railroad. It's in Arlington. I do know that that project was was kind of forced on the developer to improve that. Uh, and I think it was mainly a safety issue with the railroad at the time. So I don't know all the detail of it, but I do know that it was more of a of a privately done project with the city of Fort Worth with uh, Meridian. So I, I can I can ask our project manager about the details of of that, but I don't know uh, 
you know, I think the question is, does the city have a future project uh, coming up that would improve that situation <laughs> or, or uh, improve, you know, Euless Main Street, like you had stated in the first. Yeah. That's close. And, and again, I don't want to dominate the meeting. So uh, if you guys re reach out to me and I will kind of, I'll kind of lay it all out. I can put it into an email and explain kind of what I'm, what I'm going for here. But again, just more just curious than anything. So I appreciate the time and thank you guys so much for doing this meeting. It, this is this intersection improvement is going to be huge for those of us that live in the Stone Creek edition. Um, and uh, the safety is going to be paramount. So thank you guys very much for the information. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dave. We appreciate it. And I, I think I saw again, I can't see the chat box for some reason. I think I saw that you put your contact info in there. So, Mark, please grab that. I, I hate when we get a bunch of good um, information in the chat box and then I close the meeting and I lose it all. So please make sure and grab all that info in the chat box. Are there any other questions from anyone on the call? Hi, I think I just saw a note pop, pop up that Gary, Gary Turner would like to ask a question. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Gary, you're muted if you're trying to talk or maybe you're entering something into the chat box. Okay, I'll try, I'll try this. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so my, my input would be um, that I think that uh, one solution to maybe handling the, the truck traffic would be to install a, a, a stop sign at Tarrant and uh, Euless South Main. Uh, first of all, the, the increase in traffic from Viridian and the speeds on South Main have just gone up incredibly. My house backs up to Euless South Main, so I hear it all the time. Um, I think maybe installing a stop sign at uh, a three-way stop at uh, Tarrant and South Main might be a solution maybe to uh, to deter some of the, the truck traffic. They might be more willing to go over to 157, but if nothing else, it would slow up the traffic that uh, that is speeding down South Main. I can, uh, regarding Tarrant and you of South Main, uh, I can... Uh, um, forward your concern to our task engineering to take a look at it. <laughs> that would be great. Thanks. So you, so you said it's parent and uh, you look up. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I believe that's what I heard. Okay. Tarrant, Tarrant yeah. and you look South Main. Yeah, which is, I think that's the intersection just south of the map that you have on your on your screen there. So like if you were on Google Maps and you scrolled down, maybe, uh, you know, a, a, a tenth of a mile, that's the intersection that I believe Gary is talking about. Okay. Oh, is it Eula Street? Eula yeah. Street? Okay. So the entrance to Stone Creek is the first uh, three-way intersection. And then uh, as the other uh, speaker said, about a tenth of a mile, South of that is where uh, Tarrant comes into Eula South Main. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy intersection. It doesn't have uh, very good visibility and with the uh, increased speeds and some of the cars uh, going down South Main, to me, it seems like a, an accident waiting to happen. Okay. Okay, Cigar, thanks for, um, you know, hearing that and for taking those notes. Mark, please take notes of these questions. What we need to do on our next community outreach is um, we're going to, you know, provide the input that we received this time and, and, you know, how we've looked into it and how we've addressed it. So in our next presentation, when we go back to the community, we need to be bringing back up these issues and the fact that we thought about it. And, um, and provide any any other information and responses. So we just we need to make hey. sure we gather all this. 
Okay, thank you, um, Mr. Turner. We appreciate it. Does anyone else have any concerns or questions? And I want to split the contact. I heard, heard someone on the call talking to their dog, and my dog's doing the same thing. She's whining here in my office floor. So I understand. Chad, I wanted to request the contact information to Mr. Gary Turner. Mr. Turner, if you could type in your contact information in the chat box, that would be great. Or if you don't want to do that, you can also. Um, Email it. You can reach out to our. Well, I was going to show you the contact information again. You can send it to Seth. You can either put your contact information in the chat box or you can email it to Seth Cooksey. Okay. Um, I've got his information there, so I will. I'll send it to Seth. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, well, um, if there's, we're in no hurry to leave. Um, so if you have questions, um, please bring them up. Otherwise, we've, we've heard your concerns about all the truck traffic up here. And we're going to look into that and see if there are any current city projects that are trying to address that. And then we'll provide feedback to you. If there's any other questions, we're happy to stick around and address them. But if there are not, um, you know, we, we can conclude the meeting. But again, we don't want to cut the meeting off if, if someone's, you know, wants to talk about this intersection. Okay, I guess we can go ahead and conclude the meeting. Thank you everyone for participating. Um, Joshua, thanks for coming from the council members office. We appreciate it. And I'm thankful for the whole design team that helped me out today. And um, thanks for all the residents who are interested in this project. I think this is going to be a great project and I'm really looking forward to getting it built. Thank you, Thank you gentlemen. Yes. Have a great day. Bye.